Are you one of those hardworking Americans helping to build America? Well, we're here in Fort Worth, Texas, home of Justin Boots, Justin Original Work Boots, Brandon Barker, brand manager. Hey, thanks for having us down, Brandon. Welcome. Glad to have you. Tell me a little bit about the history of uh, Justin Original Work Boots. Well, Justin is obviously Justin Boots. Uh, we've been around since 1879. In 1997, we decided to uh, create a division called Justin Original Work Boots. We saw a need in our industry and uh, the work boot industry to, to develop a good quality American-made boot. Yes. And uh, built a great boot and have had some uh, great success with this product over the past 15 well, years. Well, I know we've had success with it too because we've sold thousands <laughs> of them. But you're doing it a little different now or, or actually just uh, newer technology, is that right? Yeah, well, we've been working really hard with our product development team to uh, try and better our products, and we do that on a daily basis. But we really put together a program around a new product called JMAC. Uh, came up with some really, really interesting technologies to make a, a very, very comfortable boot that works all day long, as hard as the hardworking Americans do. J-Max, Justin to the max, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you got to like that. No, you, you've got involved with a, uh, an organization called Camp Patriot. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about that. Camp Patriot is a nonprofit organization that was started by an ex-Navy SEAL. Okay. Uh, came home from the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq and uh, saw a lot of his buddies coming home that weren't as fortunate as him. Came back with some pretty pretty bad injuries. Uh, some of them prosthetic limbs, and some of them were blind. And mm -hmm. dealing with the you know the, the trials and tribulations of being a war. Yes. But uh, you know he wanted to do something to to give those guys a little bit of life again. You know a lot of those guys are outdoormen. They you know like to oh, hunt. Yeah. They like to fish. They like to do all those things. They outdoors. live our lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> And coming home wondering if they'll ever be able to do those things again. And he put together a great organization that, that takes these guys out on horseback rides or takes them hunting and takes them fishing, uh, climbing Mount Rainier is something that they've done with some guys wow. who have come back with major injuries. So really does some very interesting things to support our uh, wounded veterans coming home. And uh, absolutely we're going to support that with every pair of boots that we sell in JMAX this year. Uh, a portion of the proceeds will go to benefit the Camp Patriot Initiative. Sounds like a great deal. Well, you know what? What's even better, let's go to Carthage where we're going to meet Justin McKee and see how this J-Max is actually built. You're what going to I... need this on our trip to Carthage, Missouri. A hard hat? This looks <laughs> scary. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> this time travel, does it give you a headache? Thank God, I got my hard hat. <laughs> We're in Carthage, Missouri. We have landed. We have, uh, they beamed us down here at the Justin Original Work Booth Factory. And it's the heartland of America. And we're glad you could join us right here as we are going to tell you about the J-Max Original Justin Work Booth System. What we're going to lead in here with is the, the, the cutting process, which is actually the first step in uh, getting all these pieces put together. And you're actually holding a die right there. Uh, that die actually will cut the vamp which this is the vamp leather. It goes right now, when you're the saying the vamp, that's the actual foot of the, foot of the boot, right? Absolutely. Show folks where that's going to go. That's okay. going to fit right over the top right. of the last. Gotcha. It's covering your foot. Okay. okay. All right. Now, now, I'm assuming the sharp side goes down on the hide. <laughs> cuts Absolutely. That out, and then this is the pattern for the piece. That you it it sure is. As you can see, it fits right into the die. All right. Okay. All now, right. we also have to cut um, the lining that goes underneath it as well. And this is a Drylex lining. Again, creating a healthy environment for the foot. As you can tell, it's the same shape as the die, mm -hmm. but this actually lays right underneath the leather itself so that your foot has got a nice surface underneath. It's very comfortable, moisture wicking technology to create a healthy environment for the foot. Well, we see a lot of moisture wicking in, in just oh, about definitely. everything, and now the, in, in the work boot, under the leather, it seems impossible, but you guys are doing it. Absolutely. All right. I want to create a healthy environment for the foot all day long. There you go. Happy feet make happy workers. <laughs> All right, well, the second part of the uh, production of this product is, is created with the gusset. The gusset itself is cut with the dies in the hey, same wait process. A wait a minute. That, that, that right would be here. the one, absolutely. Right. That All is right. the one, as you can tell here. I used to do a lot of puzzles when I was a kid. So <laughs> yeah. You're making right. cookies when you're doing, Justin. There it is. That, that's it. All right. And as you can tell, you've got other pieces that have to be cut with the, is the, the uh, Drylex lining, which mm -hmm. is the part in here. And then you've also got the padding, which actually goes up underneath the Drylex lining. And then you've got our Justin Original Work Boots J-Max. Original Justin Work Boots featuring the exclusive J-Max system. But that's not the most important thing that we're sewing on here today. Turn it over, it's the American flag, and that is what we're most proud of here at Justin. Absolutely, handcrafted in the USA. By some of the best workers in the world. All right, 
Well, the next feature that we've added to this that creates a, a lifetime of comfort from the first day you put it on is a padded collar. Now, this padded collar also has the Drylex lining with moisture wicking technology. Uh, but as you can tell, this is very much a padded collar. I mean, you've got a lot of padding within this. Uh, if you think back to wearing a pair of lace-up boots in, in the past that we've built, uh, you would have somewhat of a break-in period on the backside right. around your Achilles heel. Right. Right. A little bit of tension as you walk. You'd have to break it in as the, as the leather loosens up a little bit. You wouldn't have that. Uh, this right out of the box. As soon right. as you put it on, it's going to be a comfort hey, feature around the top of, those, of your foot. one of those boots right there on the table. I just want to... So that, you were just saying the collar, so that's just basically the top part back here, and that's where that, that, that padded collar actually is, right? Absolutely. As you can tell, this piece curves right around the back of the heel, and that has that Drylex lining all the way inside. Now, I see some padding over here. Mm -hmm. There's two pieces of padding there. Well, that, that piece of padding is what fits right inside this. Okay. And then you've got the lining that covers right over the top right. of it, and then it's stitched all the way around. Gotcha. Brendan, you know, when we have customers come in, one of the biggest complaints that we get in a work boot is they always have a tendency to walk them over on the outsides. Uh, is there anything in this boot that it will help prevent that at all? Absolutely. Uh, that's something that we've known for quite some time. We understand that people, when they walk, they pronate on the outside sometimes, so we wanted to address that directly. Uh, so we came up with an interesting technique. Uh, first and foremost, we're using a thermal plastic heel counter, that hard material you see right there, the white piece. And then you'll see on top of that is a layer of leather. Okay. okay. Now, <laughs> hey, so we're the hard hat. Yes. <laughs> so where you'll notice this going onto the boot is on the back side. This is your heel counter. Okay. So you'll see here's the piece of leather that actually wraps around, uh, and then you can notice that the thermal plastic counter is inside of that. Another portion that uh, that makes it more stable is the fact that we run the leather from the top all the way down to what's called the feather line at the bottom of the boot. Okay. So you have a layer of leather going all the way down. Then you have a thermal plastic heel counter under, over the top of that, and then you have that other layer of leather that actually wraps around. That adds stability to the heel. It really holds you in the center of the boot, trying to prevent that rollover issue. Definitely. One other thing that we did to add stability in that process is we actually did four rows of stitching all the way around the heel counter and across the front of the van. So that actually adds another level of stability to the backside of this product. So you're really going forward with, I mean, it, that's definitely, that's probably one of the biggest problems that we've ever had, you know, in our, in, in our industry in work boots is that walking over. It looks like we're solving the problem. We're, we're making we're leaps and bounds to, to get, getting it solved, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. There's a solution. And I think you come up with a pretty good deal. I think we'll call it roll control. Hey, there you go. <laughs> roll control. I think I can market that. Right. Hey, okay. <laughs> Don't forget old Justin. <laughs> well, Justin, I want to introduce you to Bobby Groom. Hey, Bobby. He's our assistant Pleasure plant manager you. here. Pleasure to meet you. We're going to show you a process that we have that's called heel counter forming. And this is what we had talked about being st creating stability in the heel. We actually freeze form uh -huh. these heel counters to keep you really stable in the heel. Right. Yeah, you've got two different two different sides to it. You've got your hot side that actually actually heats up the counter, that elastic counter, and the hard counter. And then once it comes off the hot side, it goes directly to the, the cold side, which actually freezes it in form. It'll make a full rotation. By the time it come, comes out, it's ready. You still feel how warm it is mm -hmm. right there. Is this another process maybe that you guys do that a lot of other food companies don't do? Uh, yes, yes it is. I, I, a, lot of, a lot of other companies don't use this process okay. as we do. Yes, and that, this was one of those techniques that we use in trying to address those rollover concerns. There you go. Another attribute that we added to create stability in the product and, and another added feature for uh, comfort is that we put the actual TPU shank inside the inside uh, inner core, which this white section is an inner core, which is a softer version of the polyurethane that you see on the outside edge. Mm -hmm. uh, polyurethane is the same compound that we've used since 1997 when we came out with the Double Comfort series. Uh, we didn't want to walk away from that. It's been tried and true for 13 years. It seems to work pretty well, sure. but we wanted to enhance it. So uh, we actually hollowed out the inside core and we embedded the shank inside that soft inner core, which creates another level of stability from the heel all the way through the arch of the foot. Um, another thing that we did to this, which is really an added feature of comfort, which is pretty amazing, is that if you see this white section here, it's actually a soft material. So when I push down with my thumbs in here, you see that, that the heel of your foot would literally sink below the outside edges of this wall, which creates stability, lower center of gravity. If your foot is actually lower than the outside edges of the wall, you're going to have less opportunity to roll over. So when you add the soft inner core, lower center of gravity, 
an embedded TPU shank, and the thermal plastic heel counter, we've actually done three different things to try and create a very stable platform to prevent the rollover issue. You know, the more you talk about the technology that you put into this booth, it seemed more like it's, it's, it's the shop floor meets NASA. <laughs> <laughs> who, who comes up with this stuff? Well, we've got an amazing team uh, that, that, that puts all this stuff together. Uh, Billy Lovell, I'll have to give a lot of credit to him for his design. He is an amazing designer and has put a lot of these components together to create this, this great package. How many years of testing? Uh, I've been developing this product for actually two and a half years, almost three years, wow. uh, from the inception all the way through sure. to what you see here on the table, and then we'll, yeah. we'll go show you how it all comes together. Well, another added feature to this product is non-tarnishable eyelets and hooks. The non-tarnishable eyelets and hooks we've used in our products for 13 years. We know that they're tried, they're true, so we're going to stick with something that's worked for us. Definitely. An update that we've made to this product is we've actually added waxed laces. Wax laces are going to have a little bit of water repellency to them, and when you sense these things tight in the beginning of the day, they're going to stay tight all day long. Kind of like rosin on a bull rope, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Justin, this is Mary. Mary's putting in the, in the hooks that we talked about. Uh, Mary's been with us about 20 years, and uh, she's a valued employee. Well, she sure is. Mary, I want to compliment you on your dedication to the Justin Boot Company and to our country. I'm going to show you something here. You take a look. What caught my eye was this has been here a while. They didn't, she didn't put this on her machine because she knew the cameras were coming here today. Mary, when did you put this flag up? Put it up on September 11th. It's been there ever since. Just a great example of how people feel about their work and their country right here in Carthage, Missouri. Brandon, this is the last, right? Absolutely. All right. Now, what part of the process includes the last, and, and how do you put that together? Well, it actually leads to our next process called lasting. Okay. Uh, in the lasting process, there's a couple phases to it. Uh, one of the most important parts of this phase is actually putting our patented T90 J-Flex board on here. It's a non-woven material which will not absorb moisture, which gives it longer life. More technology. Uh, but the, the best part of this technology is what we call J-Flex. We're actually adding J-Flex into this product line. Now this is actually put on the last, and the J-Flex itself exists between here and here. As you can see, as I open this up, you'll notice that the, the board changes a little bit from the fore part of the foot to the toe. That allows the boot, and let me show you this, to flex right out of the box. Boy, it does, wow. doesn't it? Maybe he's either super strong or that boot does <laughs> 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 Brandon, uh, grab that boot for me if you don't mind. I've got a question because something keeps jumping out at me, and I have a feeling it's going to be the next step in this process <laughs> of building the boot. But uh, this looks, this is really new looking. I, I've not seen anything like that. And can you tell us what it is? Absolutely. It's called a performance storm welt. So you can wear it in a lightning storm, you won't get hit? Or? <laughs> it protects the boot from de uh, breaking down. Yeah. Uh, as I showed you earlier, this boot has J-Flex, which yes. has a very flexible product. Well, at that point where the product breaks down in the flexing, uh, if you get dirt and debris inside this area, it will actually kind of tear apart the leather a little bit. And so well, what it, we, it's down in there yeah, and then it works. And